How do you make important connections when introducing a topic in an informational essay? In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce a topic by making important connections. Let's review by taking a look at the assignment prompt. How does Abraham Lincoln appeal to his audience with logic, ethics, and emotion? After reading Lincoln's second inaugural address, write an essay that clearly and accurately describes the author's purpose and it makes important connections and distinctions between the types of appeals Lincoln uses. Support your discussion with evidence from the text. Now let's review the writing process for responding to a text. First, read closely and analyze. Then second, generate and plan. Then third, we draft and revise. And the fourth step is to edit and publish. We've already read closely and analyzed the text. We've also generated ideas and came up with a plan for the assignment prompt, How Does Abraham Lincoln Appeal to His Audience with Logic, Ethics, and Emotions? In the previous lesson, we started the drafting process with the body paragraphs. In this lesson, we're going to write a rough draft of the introduction paragraph. Let's use the hamburger sandwich analogy to talk about the introduction paragraph. A bun helps to hold the sandwich together as the first thing you see. In the same way, an introduction paragraph is the top layer of an essay that helps hold your essay together by making important connections. It is important to connect the audience to the topic and to make connections between complex ideas in the introduction paragraph. These important connections can be used to draw the reader into the essay. So here are the steps that we'll take. First, review the thesis statement. Second, make important connections or distinctions between supporting ideas. Third, review the main ideas of the essay. And fourth, make important connections to the audience. So first, let's review the thesis statement. Here's what we have for the thesis. In Lincoln's second inaugural address, Abraham Lincoln uses logic to appeal to reason, ethics to appeal to his audience's sense of fairness, and emotion to appeal to their feelings in order to advance his purpose that the North and the South should reconcile in order to heal in unity as a nation. As we review this, remember that this thesis statement directly answers the assignment prompt. So next, we need to make important connections or distinctions between supporting ideas. Now we need to think about what we are going to be connecting to. The next paragraph begins with, Lincoln uses logic to appeal to his audience's reasoning to declare that both the North and South are off track. Lincoln's purpose is to bring unity to the nation but he believes that they are off track. So let's make a connection between the thesis statement and the main idea of the first body paragraph. We could write something like, he wants to get them back on track. It's a short, simple sentence that follows a long thesis statement. Mixing long and short sentences in writing can help the flow of your writing. So next, let's review the main ideas of your essay. As we think about how we could connect the audience to our topic, let's first look at our outline for an overview. Since we've written drafts for each of the three body paragraphs, reviewing the main ideas of each body paragraph will give us a sense of what the essay is all about. It might help us to see the big picture and think about big ideas. So let's start with the first one that has to do with Lincoln's appeal to logic. Lincoln uses logic to appeal to his audience's reasoning to declare that both the North and South are off track. Lincoln appeals to his audience's belief in God to show the immorality of slavery. And third, Lincoln appeals to his audience's emotions brought on by the tragedy of war. So next, let's make important connections to the audience. Given the assignment prompt we've been working with, we can assume that the audience is able to understand complex ideas and is somewhat knowledgeable about American history. Understanding this about the audience means that we should maintain a formal academic tone 
as we connect to the audience. We know that our thesis statement answers the assignment prompt by discussing how Lincoln appeals to logic, ethics, and emotion to convince people to make difficult changes in their lives. He also blames both the North and South for their roles regarding slavery in the Civil War. In order to connect this to the audience, let's use universal truths or ideas that most people can relate to as a normal part of life. First we'll say, nobody likes to make difficult changes, and nobody likes to hear the words, it's your fault. I think that's what made Lincoln such a great leader. He held the responsible parties accountable, yet inspired them to make tough changes by appealing to reason, ethics, and emotion. Let's write, great leaders hold people accountable and inspire them to make difficult changes in order to have a better future. This sentence connects the universal truths of the audience to Lincoln and how he wanted to advance his purpose. Now this is the rough draft of the introduction. We can always make changes later. So we just finished writing a rough draft of the introduction, which goes first, and previously we wrote drafts of the body paragraphs. Next, we will write a rough draft of the conclusion paragraph, which will go at the end of the essay. Now let's look at the big picture of the writing process. We've just finished writing the introduction and body paragraph drafts. We will draft the conclusion paragraph before working on revising or editing. So here are the steps we took in this lesson. Number one, review the thesis statement. Number two, make important connections or distinctions between supporting ideas. And three, review the main ideas of the essay. And last, number four, make important connections to the audience. In this lesson, you have learned how to introduce a topic by making important connections.